Hello, this is Monkey, and welcome back to the channel. And welcome to part two of Operation Crosney from Blurgen Park Airsoft. If you haven't seen part one yet, if you click in the top right hand corner on the eye, that'll bring you to the previous part. So, to quickly recap then what happened in part one, the already high tensions between NATO and Russian forces in Belarus now reach breaking point. News flooding the world of NATO forces firing on Russian troops. NATO's story of a peacekeeping mission is falling apart. This has given Russia all it needs now to carry on its campaign within Belarus, and many more Belarusian people are now looking to Russia for aid and security. While NATO forces scramble to try and control the situation, there is nothing they can do. Russia and pro-Russian forces are capitalizing on its own goal from the NATO forces, and while NATO forces have set up a strong perimeter around the factory district, they will be recorded in history as the aggressors in this conflict, with Russia being the peacekeeping force. Despite overwhelming odds and difficult terrain, pro-Russian forces are continuing to push into the area to try and free the factory district. Okay, so I think then that's enough of me talking. It's time to get back down to the gameplay. So as you saw in the last episode, it ended with our squad getting wiped out on top of the mountain. So I'll pick up this episode with us regrouping and getting back on the objective, okay? So hope you enjoy. Lads, Cheers. there's enemy at Junction 32, so I'll walk off with caution, okay? Alpha Zero, this is Dog 3. Send message, over. Copy that, will do. Uh, currently, Dog 3, we are fighting on the right, well, we have two contacts on the right, uh, left hand side of the road in the high ground. We are trying to push up and secure. If Fox, you want to go past us, we'll just hold this high ground and try and go the highway over. Copy that, we are on the left side of the, of the road, going up to find enemy, over. Copy that. So at the end of part one, you could see us getting chased at the mountain, and we thought this was a good idea to try and allow the NATO forces to chase us, as it would allow Russian forces to flood into the area. Unfortunately this hasn't happened, and NATO have actually made gains and pushed down the main road blocking us off. So we decided to try and take back the high ground and make a corridor for friendly forces to move through. On the left boys! What's that here? On your, here, on your one, on your one? One o'clock. The Y-shaped tree, same. I don't think. You're me? Yep. Maybe one, two o'clock. So here I think is a good example of how Belurgan games and Milsim games can differ from skirmish games. As you can see here, we're not pursuing the enemy, we're allowing them to move around in the background and just try and create a corridor to hold them off. You can always tell when you get a skirmishy type player playing in a Milsim because they'll always try and go for the kill and try and finish you off and finish off the unit. Whereas often the best approach is to try and engage the enemy, make contact and push around and try and find another way and maybe try and flank them as well. And it's this part of the game I think is the most enjoyable. It's another level to the game and it try and gets you thinking a bit differently as well. And again, communication either between your squad or between command is the biggest asset you've got. Here, Alex, you're 12, and then two. Alright, you have a better range there. Two of them. Zero, this is dog three. Message over. Robin, if you put on your running shoes, I'll hit them in the fucking back. They're going up the hill. We're on it. 
This is Dog 3, we're pushing towards, uh, out of Dachau village towards Junction 32. Enemy are moving to the high ground. We are, uh, there's at least five we've seen over. Just watch, because this is near where Alice got. Shat. No, it's that's that's 32. Yeah. This is Dog 3. Uh, anyone got an update on what's happening in Junction 32? Over. No problems there. We are in the high ground in front, well, on the southeast of. Uh, Junction 32, if you can just let us know, we're trying to find it because we're not too sure. There's a lot of firefight from behind us, we don't know what's going on over. Oh shit! Connor, where's our ammo can? Really? <laughs> <laughs> My 12, my 12! That should be Fox 4, I'll double check for you now. Fox 4, this is Dog 3, message over. Zero, this is Dog 3, uh, message over. Zero Alpha, we are getting very close to uh, Junction 32. Just want to confirm that Junction 32 is held by friendlies. Over. Copy that. There is a uh, pretty severe far, uh, fighting in the high ground above 32. Over. We should be okay, it's just a case of we can maybe try and hold them up here, if you can try and get squads to go through 32 and on up the road, over.
copy that. Just let us know whenever they leave. Over. So apologies, it's a bit hard to follow what's going on. But I'll try and outline what's happening on this map here as well. Currently, we are located here at the high grounds between Junction 32 and the mountain top. There are still a large number of NATO forces moving across the mountain, trying to move into 32. Junction 32 is a critical point for us as it allows us better access towards the factory district and I post Kilo down the road. While our squad has a scheduled break coming up soon, we are currently making a front holding the enemy off in 32, which is creating a clear corridor for friendly forces to move into the area and give support. Through speaking with command, we make up a plan to try and allow friendly forces to take up our position, and this means then we're free to go back to base, regroup, rearm, and refuel. A friendly unit is occupying the northern checkpoint, and this gives them a great chance now to come up behind the enemy onto the mountain top and try and push them away from the Area 32. Once they're in position, this then means we're free to move back towards Daco Village, have a chat with command, and get ready for the next phase of the game. So, it's, so Junction 32, we're basically. Where's a stick? That's a blade of grass that'll do. Ah, stick. So, we are. Fuck, it's a long stick. <laughs> we got to about here. Okay. And there's a lot of contact coming over from this area. Alright. So, they're all coming there. Like, we eliminate the uh, five man squad over there. Alright, oh, right. So, they're all down, is yeah. it? Yeah. So, we can, this is all, all ready to be operated. Yeah, okay. yeah. Right, yeah, lads, yeah. You, can, you can respawn. The thing is, I don't know, this, we heard shooting coming from this side of 32, yeah. but no one's in the comms answering us you at all, so I'm just going to find out. prisoners, or will we leave them be, or...? No, no Prisoners no, no, take no, up time, yeah. and let them bleed out, make, them, make yeah, sure they let yeah. them bleed. Exactly. But, um, I right, so, um, it's here, and here we can do kind of blocked off that, but we just can't seem to... I think the comms are, like, here, here, whatever squad, I'm not too sure what squad's in there, but I think they're friendly, but they're not answering. Yeah, yeah, they're, they're dog too. Um, dog too, you're the radio man, where is it? No, no. no. The, 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 right, okay. Seen. If you can get, get, get Dog 2, because we're sort of half and half in there, we're kind of... There's firefights going on around the back of 32, and we just right. don't know where it's coming from. We're going to get lunch now. Ah, I yeah, know, well, it makes more sense. <laughs> and it means we get a good break. If you don't mind, actually. I don't mind at all, because you have a backpack. Oh, thank God. I was like, I'm gonna, like I'll just carry it, because I feel bad that you're carrying it. But if you offered, it was not going to say no. So we've made it back to our base. It's time for a brew, some food, and just a wee bit of a sit down as well. So again, if you're going to go to a blurring game, the best thing you can bring is a fold-up chair. I cannot describe the level of resentment you have for your friends when they have a nice chair and you're sitting on the fucking ground. So like all things in Blurgan, things don't always go to plan, so while we're sitting here kicking back and relaxing, we get word that an enemy force is actually moving up the road and we have to quickly respond and react to that. Harrison, one o'clock, one o'clock, Harrison! Right here. Nope, that's not it. That one. There we go. Yeah. <laughs> 
support your head. Come on, yeah! Did you turn the guy? No, no, not here. In here? No, no, no. I'm not here, sorry. Yeah, okay, I'm going. My best is sorry. Oh, here, actually, I've got a spare one here. Two seconds. I have a spare one. Uh, well, I do have a spare one there. All right, throw that back at my tent whenever you're done, just. Yeah. You know the big tent with the Russian flags? Yeah. Right, throw it back there afterwards. Thank you very much, my man. Are you dead? Dad? You're dead, Rag! There we go, that's better! Oh, look at fun. Hey, how fast is your night in a minute? Why do you sound angry then? That's nice. It's crisp. Short strokes? No. Just Jordan Magic. Jordan Magic. You all love a bit of that though. We are on patrol. Nice, so what's our. Yeah, we need to bomb up again. He did load up, up again. Yeah, but... load up after that. Oh. That was fucking well defended. Good thing over there. Just after loading up. <laughs> he did well up there this morning at the fucking back of the wood. I heard it was a fucking oh. very, very difficult fight. Sketchy. Sketchy, yeah. You yeah. were up high on the fucking rock and there was fucking Aye. snipers and the whole lot up there. And they two two squads, literally, corner around. So we just kept yeah. pulling back, hitting them, pulling back. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Well, they chased, the they chased the hoy up the hill. They chased us the hoy up to the mountain and then we're like, oh, okay, now what do we do? And then down, down, down again. I was like, what well, was the, the fucking point? Back, back, yeah, we'll turn on. Hey. Right. Right. Yeah. Then we got okay. engaged okay. Down okay. At, cool. Uh, cool. on the way to 32 and they got wrecked there because they didn't have enough uh, blood bags. Yeah, right, right, yeah. We do have this, mm. I think it's the remains of Fox 3 and Fox 4. They're actually back there. Then they're just about to take Kilo now as well. So that'll be helpful. So anyway. Kilo, we've actually took Kilo? Yes. Yes, oh, good stuff. So. I think so. Or almost, almost. Mm. Yeah, yeah. It's just it's 30. About, so the fight for 32 like, is over? I think so, yeah. Yeah, yeah. I was it's a fucking slog. I'm going to be tasking you guys on something else entirely now. Okay. okay. Yeah, just get, oh, you know where we are anyway. Yeah, so exactly. I'd say just sit tight for the time being. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Maybe. Maybe five or ten minutes. Hi, it's grand. Like okay. Sweet lads, fantastic. And then uh, I get on to you then we'll reorg, alright? Just gonna reorg everybody else first. Right? Love job, mate. I mind you just seen the second squad of those coming. <laughs> Tell them to calm down. We're just reloading, so you're fighting minutes. Okay, so that nicely wraps up part two of the game. I'm going to be honest, this game is such a challenge to try and cut down as there was so much action the whole way through. I mean, you think I'm trying to get 36 hours of gameplay into about an hour worth of videos. So it's a good challenge, but I enjoy doing it and I hope you enjoy watching them too. So if you do enjoy watching the videos, please give us a like, subscribe and comment, tell us what you like. And if there's anything you want to see in videos again, like give us a wee message to tell us what you like to see. And again, if there's something we're not doing right or something you don't like about the videos, again, tell me. We can try and work on it and make it better again as well. So it's only through that we can kind of learn and make it better. So that's all for this part. Hope you enjoyed watching it and we'll get ready for part three then. Hopefully I'll not forget about it. So, you know, I'll try. But until next time, cheers, bye.